Okay, so here we have a problem, which is a mechanism design problem of the moral hazard flavor, where we're trying to incentivize behavior. And this is a classic manager situation where you have the C, uh, the manager is going to be like a CEO, and we as the principal are going to be a board of directors. We're trying to incentivize the CEO to put forth effort, but we can't observe their effort. All we can observe is whether or not the project succeeded or failed. And here's the setup of the problem, and I'll put the actual problem in the doobly-doo below. So, um, the profit to the company from a successful project is one million, the profit to the company from an unsuccessful project is zero, and um, if the manager puts forth effort, under if they have good management, then we have a 50% chance probability of success, so still a pretty high chance of failure. If the management is bad, we only have a 25% chance of success. The effort cost to the manager is 0.1. The manager's utility over money, where money is measured in millions, is utility equals the square root of something. And the manager's reservation wage, what they could make if they went to their next best option, their next best job, is $90,000. And plugging that into our square root function, where the money is measured in uh, millions, so square root of 0.09 is equal to 0.3. And we, as the board of directors for the company, have to decide how much money do we pay them if the company is successful, that's going to be YS, and how much money do we pay them if the company is, uh, if, the if the project fails. And so if we set this up as principal agent, let's just do that really fast. All right, so we have our principal is the board of directors. They're influencing our agent, which is the CEO or the manager. And the board of directors choice variables are amount to pay the manager if the project is successful and the amount to pay the manager if the project fails. And then the manager's decision is how much effort to put forth and also whether to stay with the company. So both of them have two choices. This is well set up for both an incentive compatibility constraint, where we try to incentivize good behavior, effortful behavior from the manager, and also participation constraint, where we're trying to incentivize them to stay with the company. So let's set up those two types of constraints. All right, so our incentive compatibility constraint, which is when we're talking about moral hazard types of mechanism design, it's going to be good behavior is preferred to bad behavior. And in both of these cases, we're with the company. And then our participation constraint says staying with the company is preferred, preferable to leaving the company. So in our case, just translating that into our scenario. Um, and of course, these constraints are always the agents um, constraints, they're from the agent's perspective. So um, the utility to the manager, the CEO, of putting forth effort and staying with the company needs to have higher utility than putting forth no effort and staying with the company. So we need to choose our payments to the CEO to make sure this constraint binds. And then um, our participation constraint needs to make sure that from the CEO's perspective, the utility of putting forth effort and staying, that's the package we're trying to force them into, is gives them greater utility than if they were to leave. So let's set up each of these constraints with the specific numbers from this problem. Okay, so we have the utility of putting forth effort and staying is equal to the probability of success times the money we get from success minus the effort cost of putting forth effort, as this case is, um, plus 0.5, that's the probability of failure if, we're, if we put forth effort, times the money if we put forth effort uh, and still fail, this is the money we get if we fail, minus the effort cost. And of course, you could rearrange this algebraically if you just wanted to um, put the 0.1 on the other side over there. That's also completely fine. Um, <clears throat> so this is just 
simply this is the package we're trying to force and if we're talking about incentive compatibility constraint we need to make sure this package is preferred to not putting forth effort in which case when we don't put forth effort we're going to eliminate the effort from both uh, situations and um, if we don't put forth effort then of course these probabilities are going to change to these over here so um, Oh, and I should have, I should have emphasized that the green is associated with fail, blue is associated with success. But let's set up the other half of our incentive compatibility constraint. Okay, so in this case, the utility of putting forth effort and staying with the company needs to be greater than the utility of not putting forth effort and staying with the company, in which case by not putting forth effort we can avoid the effort costs, but we have a um, higher chance of failure, lower chance of success. So we just, we as the board of directors need to set it up so that this is greater than or equal to this, and I'll just do that by adding an inequality in between them. Boom, there we go. That's all that's required um, for our incentive compatibility constraint. Now let's make sure that they don't want to jump ship and go to their next best option to make the 90,000 they could make somewhere else. So let's set up our participation constraint, which is going to force the package we want to force to be greater than putting than basically leaving the company. Let's do that now. All right, so in this case, we want to force our situation we're trying to force utility to the CEO of putting forth effort and staying needs to be greater than or equal to our utility from leaving the company and we were given our opportunity cost the reservation wage of 90,000 which when we plug that into our utility function of utility over money where money is measured in millions that equals 0.3 so we know that the utility of the situation we're trying to force needs to be greater than 0.3 and those two inequalities will help us to set how much money should the um, CEO get if they're successful and how much should they get if, they're, if they fail. Um, and that's pretty much how that problem goes.